What is up, Kratix? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles. Never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 or do you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Vapid Saddler. So this truck is an OG vehicle that's been in the game since day one. It can be purchased from the Summer San Andreas website for $35,000, or of course you can get off the street for free. Now I do want to mention right out of the gate here guys that this vehicle basically has no visual customization, which is a bit unfortunate. However, there are a bunch of different stock variants that you can acquire, specifically seven variants. The first one is obviously the clean variant with no visual extra options on it. The second one has a color matched bed cover, which is really cool. The third one has the orange roof marker lights. The fourth one has a bull bar out front. The fifth one has the roll bar in the bed. The sixth one has the roll bar with the roof lights on it. And lastly, the seventh one has the utility rack. Now, unfortunately, there's no way to combine these variants in game. You have to settle for one option from those variants that you like. Now, there are players who do have glitched slash modded variants with multiple options forced on it. Some of them even have all the options on it, which looks a bit strange. But again, those are not normally available. Now the easiest way to get one of these variants is to buy it over and over from the website until you get the one that you want. However, it can start to get a bit pricey at $35,000 a pop. So I do recommend going with a free mode spawn method if you don't want to waste all that money getting the specific variant that you want. So the easiest free mode spawn method that works every single time is right here by the military base. You're going to want to make your way to this location. So you must be driving a Vapid brand vehicle for it to spawn. I've personally had the best luck with just using another Saddler. Maybe you just buy one off the website or find one on the street and just use that to spawn the other variants at this location. So you're going to want to drive from this location to the bridge area back and forth until the variant that you want spawns. And it's that easy. It really doesn't take all that much time. Plus the best part is that it's free. It just takes a little bit of your time. But anyways, the Saddler name was first introduced in GTA San Andreas, but it is a completely different model from the one we have in GTA 5. Now in terms of performance, the Saddler is in the utilities class and still remains to be the fastest vehicle in that class for racing, so, so it's definitely worth owning since you can essentially get it for free and happens to be the king of the class as well. But anyways, in terms of what the Saddler is based on, it's primarily based on the first generation Ford F-250 Super Duty mixed with the third generation GMC Sierra for its front end styling. So a very strange combination there, mixing Ford and GM together, but I guess the end result is a pretty good looking truck. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Saddler, and I will be using the bed cover variant for this video because that's my personal favorite. All right, Saddler. Now what do you need? Okay, we got armor, brakes, engine, lights, do some xenons there, plates, black that background, and I guess I'll put my America plate on this. I mean, what's more American than a pickup truck, right? <laughs> uh, in terms of color for this, um, I mean, I was thinking black, but I feel that's a bit too plain, right? I don't know. <laughs> they, they could do something a little bit different. Um, we'll go to the metallic category, and we're going to throw on here a, um, a shadow silver. Was it shadow silver? Yeah, I think shadow silver. Yeah, shadow silver. And then for pearlescence, we're going to throw on here the uh, diamond blue pearl. And you can see we have a nice grayish blue color, and in direct sunlight, it's just a really really good looking color for this thing so I'm definitely gonna go with that we have used this color in past builds but on this particular truck I think it just looks amazing especially when we change the wheels a crew emblem for this truck goes in the hood okay 
suspension you can lower it if you want but I'm not gonna lower this on a pickup truck I think it looks better with a stock ride height transmission turbo wheels now there's a bunch of different ways you can go with a build on a truck like this um, you know I think if you have the roll bar with the roof lights obviously you should go with an off-road build um, definitely some off-road wheels and tires but um, honestly, I personally, I want to go for more like a, a street truck kind of vibe or like maybe like a, a platinum variant, what have you. So uh, I'm going to go here to the SUV category uh, and I want to throw on here the uh, deluxe uh, variant of this wheel. I think this looks really, really good on here because this truck does have, you know, that giant chrome grill, some chrome accents here and there on the bed cover, uh, the rear bumper and other places. Um, so I think these wheels look really good on here, especially when we paint them in black, and I think that's just a super, super clean, nice look on here. Um, obviously, you could lower the suspension with a build like this if you want it to look a bit more um, clean, I suppose, but I don't know. I, I don't I don't really want to lower it. I think we'll keep it stock ride height, so we have kind of the best of both worlds there, a little more clearance and also a street truck look. Uh, we have the turbo, we did wheels, windows, yeah, we'll just black them out. That's all the options there. Um, this truck does have the uh, rear hitch with the, the tow hitch, which this does work. It does work. You can pull um, random trailers or boats you find driving around on the map um, with it. And it's a lot of fun to mess around with. The Insurgent Pickup Custom um, also has that, but that's, that's a, you know, a custom um, personal vehicle that was a DLC car. In terms of like OGs, not many had that. This was kind of like back then if you wanted to tow something around like that, you needed a truck like this. Um, and there's also a few other vehicles, uh, OGs that have the tow, the tow hitch on it. Uh, but uh, this is this is one of the, this is the one I used to use all the time personally. So, all right, exit to ground. I do love the variant with the bed cover personally. I think it just looks a bit more clean kind of like a more city street truck I don't know I just really like the bed cover I think it looks fantastic especially since it's primary color I think it looks really good you get this color man oh my god <laughs> it looks so good on this thing so glad I chose that I love the black wheels give us a nice custom look um, I think it just looks fantastic uh, first person here interior uh, they reused SUV interior okay but I mean, on this truck, I think it's acceptable. It, it does work on this. You know, this is not a, a super new truck. The, these, this is inspired by, you know, the older F-250. So, you know, it, it's kind of acceptable on here, uh, mainly based on that. So, uh, engine sound, reused, you know, from a lot of other trucks and SUVs and such. Uh, now, this is a 4x4, and this thing has tons of wheel spin. I love it. Uh, this thing is actually a drift machine. It's a lot of fun to drift around with. You, you would never really think that, but that initial wheel spin it has is just insane. And it is quick. It is not a slow truck by any means. Fully maxed out. It moves. It moves. You definitely can't call this slow. <laughs> it's very, very quick. Um, I, I love the way this thing drives. One of my favorite... Definitely my... I would say probably my favorite OG pickup truck in game. I, I would definitely go as far as, as, as to say that. Just always love the Saddler. I've always had one in my garage, you know, just to have it for that rare occasion when there's a utility race. But, I mean, it's not only that. I, I also like the look of it. I, I love the way this thing drives. Um, and, and it drives a, a bit more different compared to, like, traditional uh, trucks in game. I love how slidey it is. Um, now, there are different players who put, um... Uh, low grip tires on this because as of the criminal enterprises DLC you can put low grips on um, any personal vehicle in game and this thing with low grips is a ton of fun but even without the low grips I mean you could still power slide and drift this thing around I mean at, at lower speeds is when you can really it's it's <laughs> It has a, a, I mean, a wheel spin it has, I mean, you could just do, it's just fun. You, you have to kind of put it into the corner the right way, I've, I've done it before, um, but definitely with the low grips, this thing is a ton of fun, ton of fun. Right into an Escalade, my bad. 
<laughs> but and obviously other than being a quick truck right that that can also drift it's also a pretty decent off-roader because it is you know four by four obviously so I mean it can climb most things obviously the clearance isn't the best but I mean it can climb most obstacles you throw at it um, and definitely with the with the off-roads it does help a bit more uh, but even with street tires, I mean, it still does a, a pretty decent job. I mean, this is pretty steep here, and it just kind of... Look at that. That <laughs> tackles it pretty much no problem. So, really nice truck in general. I, I think it's definitely worth it, especially free off the street. I think it definitely deserves um, a place in players' garages. I, I definitely think it's one of those vehicles that you should just have, right? And if you're like, well, I don't really care about pickup trucks, well, I mean, it is still the quickest in the utilities class, so... Just for that fact, too, you should still own it. Just just get one if you don't have it. It's just a really nice truck to have, but... Well, let's pull over somewhere here so we can open all the doors and stuff. I guess we'll just park up here. There we go. And you can see as the sun goes down, the, the col this color does change a bit. Now it looks a bit more gray, a little less bluish. It's, it's just a fantastic color. All right, vehicle doors, let's go all here, and so engine model, they just reused a V8 engine model they use for most OG vehicles, nothing really too crazy there. Interior, we already talked about that, just SUV interior. The shifter, it looks like it's missing a, a shift ball there, so it's not a column shifter, it's a floor shifter, and it's missing, it's missing the shift ball, so it's just the... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, back here, the back seats, you know, reuse texture quality back seats. Uh, okay, typical stuff there. Uh, the tailgate does open, love that. And of course, the bed cover, it flows nicely. It really, really does. Uh, now, I wonder what happens with the bed cover. Oh, it actually is, okay. So you, you don't just walk through it. You don't just clip through the bed cover. It actually is, um, does have a hitbox on it, okay. So that's good. All right. I mean, honestly, and and I did test it. The the other variants that have the roll bar and the utility rack, those also do have hip boxes on, on those parts. So this thing is awesome. It really, really is. I, I wish that there were actual like visual customization options, all those different variants. But I guess that makes these OG vehicles a bit more special and unique, right? That you actually have to find the variant that you want. However. The fact that you can't normally uh, combine different variants together for this particular vehicle is a bit annoying, but it is what it is. I, I still think it's an amazing truck, and I highly recommend it. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what vehicle from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next that I haven't done yet. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.